Hello and thank you for being here. This is week one of Virtue's newsletter. I am your host, Barbara McKenzie, and I just want to say thank you for being here. If you're new, please hit that subscribe button and make sure that you are getting the weekly newsletter updates. shuffling my deck of 100 Virtues Reflection cards to see which Angel of Virtue is going to show up for us in week number one. It's Courage. Courage transforms fear into determination. It is embracing life fully without holding back, doing what must be done, even when it is difficult or risky. When we are tempted to give up, courage supports us to take the next step. It allows us to face adversity with confidence. Courage opens us to new possibilities and gives us the strength to sacrifice for what we love. At times, We need courage to accept the truth and to pick ourselves up after a mistake, ready to make amends and try again. Courage gives me the strength to make this journey with all my heart. Heart be brave. If you cannot be brave, just go. Love's glory is not a small thing. Rumi. The practice of courage. I reach beyond my comfort zone. I welcome new challenges. I do what I know is right regardless of the costs. I face the truth with humility and openness. I don't allow my fears to hold me back. I fully accept life's invitations. I am thankful for the gift of courage. It allows me to spread my wings. What a beautiful card for the beginning of a new year. We need courage more than ever these days it seems and when I think about this card uh, and the intention of this podcast it it helps to reinforce my understanding so we need courage uh, to go inside We need courage to tune out the world. We need courage to find the stillness within that we require in order to uh, silence the noise and open the relationship and deepen the relationship within ourself, with ourself. The idea of me, myself, and I, and, and coming, becoming one within that, with that, it requires courage. And at times, we need courage to accept the truth, it says, and to pick ourselves up after a mistake, ready to make amends and try again. Well, imagine if we could do that within. So constantly having this inner attitude with ourself that, you know, are we hearing the truth? Are we picking up after our mistakes? Are we making amends? 
And are we ready to try again? And these are, you know, important questions that that come up for me as I'm thinking about this. Unscripted, of course. And for me, the unscripted piece is critical because it represents the unconscious flow that comes through me and I am a witness to and I am a vehicle for and all of these um, I, all of those pieces correlate you know into me and uh, in order to speak my truth, I require courage. I've been shut down a lot, and the spirit within me is has always been noisy, wanting to speak, and has lots of things to say. <laughs> and I've spent a lot of years um, tempering that and curbing that because... Uh, the social norm was not interested in um, energy work and virtues and listening to uh, um, anyone talk about healing, especially someone like me who doesn't have a PhD or a doctorate. I've never been to university. Um, you know, the society has developed a um, it's almost like a hierarchy of respect and um, I've not climbed on in those ladders I've not played in those fields so when my friends were going to university I was studying energy medicine and meditation and by the time I was 21 I was teaching so uh, teaching others in circle not formally not in school uh, but I was in circles, so um, in in many, many ways, I have always uh, embraced this. It's been a core virtue for me. So with any Virtues Pick card, um, there are questions, and you are invited to journal, meditate on these questions, and or have discussions, dialogue, go into research, do whatever you need to do in order to take a look at how does this virtue influence you. So that's one question. And the questions that come up for me are, how can courage support me at this time? How will courage support me at this time? And how does courage already support me at this time? And the other questions that come up are, what are life's invitations at this time in my life? What am I being called to do in terms of a sacred service, sacred action, taking action and doing what my heart and soul wants me to do. And, and that's part of my intention for 2023. So my focus will be on developing the relationship within myself I've spent many years studying lots of different aspects and levels and layers of healing. And I've done my own work. And now I feel like it's time for integration and to literally um, embody its embodiment. It's, it's integration and embodiment of the meaning of or the essence, maybe, of my soul. So 
what are life's invitations at this time? And, and doing this podcast is one of my invitations. And so thank you for showing up because you help me to be accountable. And, um, and so I think the last question that, that comes up for me in, with this card in what I was reading was what am I ready to sacrifice in order to meet life's invitation? So that's what I'm going to be journaling on this week and considering for myself. And uh, I invite you to uh, share your questions and your uh, considerations, your f- reflections. And uh, let me know how Courage is speaking to you this week. Thanks once again for taking time out with me this week for the Virtues Muse Letter. And I hope you'll tune back in next Monday. Have a wonderful week. Mm-hmm.